So right now I'm gonna show you what a worn out time belt looks like. Now I have a new one to compare it to and so I'll show you. This probably has maybe 30, I've, I've been going to say 40 or 50 thousand miles on it. But as you can see on the top, hopefully you can see, I just this camera up a little bit. As you can see there are cracks all around the belt, go all the way around, and the inside. I mean, this looks all right on the inside, but you'll notice that if you bend it a little bit, well, some well, see some of these look pretty good. Well, let's see, find a place where you see here, for example they start, if I move the belt, like this may around like one of the pulley, smallest pulley, you know, looks like in the car. You can see the belt right there is opening up a little bit, cracking. See, look, look at that one right there. And, you know, when these things, you know, they are woven with like, I think they're woven with like string, maybe, maybe steel string, I don't call me on that one, but there is string inside of it. And eventually these rip off though, you know, once it goes all the way through. When these rip, you have no teeth and then, you know, your belt could easily just, you know, shred. You could keep spinning, you know, up to the point where it shreds and then your, you know, timing's off. You know, maybe your just stops, you know, or your engine will stop working, you know, it's like you have no timing. Or, if you see these cracks up top, if they get big enough, they could just, you know, make the belt snap. Now, look at the new belt. Let's open this up for the first time here. Oh, there we go. Here's a brand new belt. As you can see, well, for starters, obviously, there's no cracks on the top. And on the inside, look how nicely woven that is. No signs of any ripping or anything of any kind. Let's see, so you compare it to the old one. The new and the old. Look, actually, now I see. I think this one's a better quality belt than this one. Like I see a lot of like you know the weaves on this one are bigger than these. So smaller meaning it's, it's higher texture, meaning it's stronger. Also, another thing. When you change these timing belts, you're supposed to change the tensioner with them. This well, this belt is for a Ford Contour, but it's the, the tensioner and the belt is the exact same one as in a Ford Focus all the way to the year 2003. I think 2004 they still had the C-Tech. Ford Contour, Mercury Cougar, and the Ford Escort had the same engine. So these, you know, these belts work, you know, pretty simply, you know. You put it on, you tighten it, and then you spin. See this right here? You spin it around until it tightens, and then you finish tightening the bolt. Usually these two marks are to align. So you said there's a line right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There's a line right there. And that hole is supposed to be, you know, where the line is. But someone didn't change this tensioner with this belt. Honestly, I think this belt would have more life left in it if somebody had done the right thing and changed this along with the belt. Because if you look, it's just destroyed. Someone else is trying to be a cheap mechanic save themselves 20 30 bucks and not buy this part but it's an important part and you need to replace it you know especially i mean this one looks okay on the inside but when these plastics crack you just they gotta go but honestly if you see something like this how can you put a new bell over it you know you can see all the lines see like this like lines right there showing where you know the tensioner touched it everything else looks i mean the other ten um the other pulley looks good, but the tensioner is just crap. All right, guys. Well, hope that you know was a good comparison between an used belt and a new belt, so you guys can get an idea of uh, how to see, you know, if your belt needs to be replaced or not. Just like I said, look for cracks on the outside, and if you have the belt off, you can look on the inside and see if this, you know, starting to shred apart on the inside. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys, and take care.